the Fox 5 Surprise Squad is powered by United Nissan, Dollar Loan Center, and Helix Electric. All right, four sisters with little time make a special wish. The wish wasn't for money or material items. Instead, it was simply for more time together. Now, with one sister's health failing and the other three sisters busy with life, a niece quietly decided it was time to write to the Surprise Squad. Dear Surprise Squad, I'm writing you because I would like to tell you about four very special ladies. My beautiful aunt Connie, my mother Deborah, and their two sisters, Lisa and Val. They are very close and having a tough time as sisters because Auntie Connie is currently in stage five kidney failure. Are you Rihanna? Oh my God. You wrote into Fox 5 and we got your letter. Yes. Can you tell us why you wrote in? I just want them to have sister and sister time um, before that time comes for her. Family basically wants to get back like a family before my aunt passes away. I love you, Aunt Connie. The day that I had rode in, she had a heart attack, and by the grace of God, she is still with us. Late night emergency room, waiting rooms, that's it. That's all it's been. I'm starting to get deja vu. She has been planning her memorial plans with my mom, which has been a stressful event for my mother also. Hi, are you Deborah? So you're going to take a ride with us. It's the hardest thing ever. Because she feels like I'm the strong sister. I have to sit there and not let her hear the tremble in my voice. My sister always sat off of one and one ball. We are still four sisters, and I don't want us to be unbonded when we lose a sister. Even if there is no cure, a wish being granted is what really truly matters. Connie? Hi, Connie. What's going on? Rihanna told us about everything that you are going through. This is God's plan for me right now. Sometimes it gets to the point where I'm ready to give up, but now he has renewed my faith and I just gotta keep a pushing. My sister, she has been a walking testimony for me because she's been through a lot. We've been talking about this for the last like year that just us four need to get together and just enjoy each other. Like when we was little girls, cause we are all so close. Here is what the Fox 5 Surprise Squad is going to do for you, okay? Okay. We've already set up a slumber party for all the sisters, okay? But you don't have to bring your sleeping bags. You have a two-night stay at the Venetian Las Vegas All Suites Luxury Resort. You have dinner for four and an afternoon of pampering at Canyon Ranch Spa Club. God sent you for me. I need, this is what I needed to just have a little bit more faith to move on to the next journey. I needed to be surrounded by my sisters. It was one for all and all for one. That was our saying. And that there, oh my God, when do we go? <laughs> when I walked in the room, oh my God, everybody just treated us like celebrities, you know? I know people were like, who are they? Yeah. You know? I, she was at work and I was like, girl, you will never guess what just happened. Yeah. I said, people just started bum rushing in with cameras and all that. I was thinking, you know, when you get a call from my sister, it's usually a bad call, you know, but this was a good call. Yes, I was just happy for her, you know, that she got the wish that she wanted. Oh, did you smear, Mom? That's a lot. <laughs> really know the way down. <laughs> it's truly a blessing to really have my mother yes, it here. Is. It was a blessing for all of us, you know, because we have had times. I have seen my daughter suffer, but this, for her, was one of the best things that could have happened. You know, this is a one in a lifetime chance. And she made it possible. You have all things yes. about a hundred times. Yes. That's what, what that is for. But what do we plan on getting out of this? To be able to, you know, share that every second, that every moment. And laughing, telling some skeletons. I have skeletons, oh, and it's probably greater than theirs. <laughs> you know. Welcome to DB Brasserie inside the Venetian. Thank you, Thank you for having us. 
we got to push your food out a little bit quick because we got a, a, a surprise for you. Oh. Four tickets oh. to the sold out Diana Ross show here at the Venetian. Oh my goodness. And we was talking about it last night. Man, it just get better and better. This my journey has been always just been so dark. And this is a light for me. And I thank everybody. All for one and one for all. She looked like she was in really good spirits because of that, which is nice. Yeah. And you have, yeah. So a special thank you to the Venetian for helping provide the hotel stay and dinner. And then the Diana Ross tickets, that was a surprise. That was really nice. So coming up at 845, Connie and her niece, Rihanna, who wrote the letter, they're gonna be joining us live in studio so you can hear what it's really like to be on the receiving end of a surprise squad with no warning. And that, I mean, obviously, it's just look at, you know, Monica, you were, I don't know, you, every, every time we do one of these surprise squads, it just gets uh, better and better and helping more and more people. Great job, yeah. All right, we will be right back after this. Everybody, welcome back to Fox 5 News this morning. On your Thursday, or Friday Eve, as uh, Monica likes to call it, you can see the dark clouds in the sky, and boy, we just came off of a really emotional surprise squad. Uh, Monica had to take a, a quick break, and I don't blame her. Uh, that was a real tough one, and um, boy, it was a good story. And later on, uh, pretty soon, Jonesy, we're gonna have Connie in studio uh, to talk about it, but uh, yeah, I mean, these surprise quads, it, it's worth it though. It's yeah, worth it to help them out. It is, and people don't realize that each time we go out on one of these, it affects us and it changes yeah. our lives as it well. Does. We feel what they're going through and we feel like we're a part of their family, so it can be mm -hmm. very emotional for us sometimes. Yeah. As you know, you've done a couple too. Yeah. You, you're right there. You know, I know you've been to the hospital and everything, you surprised some some people there, but you know. I, you know, it's funny you mentioned that. It, the, the, with me, it's always a different dynamic because mm -hmm. People just kind of know me as the guy that jokes a lot. So mm -hmm. literally I go in and there's like there's like people in the hospital and they're in really bad shape and and they their first question is how are your cats? I mean it's just <laughs> it's so crazy. And yeah. so yeah. Yeah, people people watch you, they know yeah. you and they love you.